Day 7, The Treachery of Wales. We're given the horizontal positions of some crabs that need to all move into the same horizontal position and we're trying to minimize the cost of that with two different cost functions. The first one is just one to one. So to go one step costs one fuel unit. And in the second part, it's a different function to map the distance to the cost and it's one of these kinds. So here's the sequence. And uh, there's a formula for computing that, which is this. So let's look at the code. I start by loading the data, and here's the test data, and here's the full data, quite a lot. And a few functions that we'll look at in a minute, and then the solve function. Um, one thing I thought I would try is just see if the answer to the linear cost, the part one, was simply the, the median, the, the number in the middle if you sort them. And it works for that. And I don't know if for this kind of puzzle it would always be the median or not. Um, I'm a math learner, not a math wizard. This sorts the numbers and this computes the median. And then I discovered later that the answer to the problem number two is the mean, which kind of surprised me. So is it always the case that the median and the mean are the answers to, to this kind of problem? Um, but I didn't, just, I didn't just try the mean first. I wrote code to um, try a bunch of different starting positions and find the one with the minimum cost. And that runs pretty fast. So um, why don't we go through in the debugger, put a breakpoint here and we'll take a look. And this is the test data. We've got the median and the mean. We print them. And now we calculate the cost of moving all those crabs to the median position using the linear cost function. So let's go in with F7 and here's cost. So we passed in the function that tells whether it's uh, linear or a triangular number of cost. And um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to step through this. Let's see. F7. Okay, so you see we go into the linear cost and then there's just a whole bunch of that. So let's see if we can find our way back to here. Put another breakpoint and continue running. Now we're here. So that displays on the console the solution to part one. The position we want to move all the crabs to is 331, which is the median. And the cost of that is the sum of the movements of each crab times one. And now we want to search over the whole range of, of positions that we could move to. So we set up this range, which is a range object. You know, usually you see for n in range. Well, you can assign a range to a variable and then use it like on the next line, a little shorter, for n in full range. So here's where we're doing a lot of work because we've got a we've got a, a generator expression here. It's going to produce a whole bunch of these tuples um, here uh, for every horizontal position in the full range, and then it's going to um, pass all those costs to the min function, and the min function is going to produce the one with the lowest cost, and we'll extract it to these variables, total cost and position. So I press F8, and we run, and total cost is this, and position is this, and now we're about to print that. 
and that's it. So the answer is down here. Okay, well, I hope this becomes clearer to me. It's, um, it interests me that the median and the mean worked out to be the solutions to this. For me, anyway, maybe with other people's data, it's different. Why not let me know? See you next time.